The mid-generation Xbox One X has shown the gaming world that top-tier visuals can blast out of a moderately priced console box. With well over 100 games that hit a native 4K resolution, and some even pushing 60 FPS, Xbox has proven that from now on, the Xbox can keep up with most any PC in terms of sheer graphic prowess. Hey there. Now with the future of Xbox and new architecture, it may become difficult to see the difference between the next Xbox visuals and a super-powered PC. This is Cole Eastward. We're going to take a look at how the next generation of Xbox consoles will provide gamers with a premium, fluid PC-like gaming experience. And much of this information is culled from several sources I'll leave in the description. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel. There's a lot to cover. Games on the Xbox One X since it launched a year ago typically run at or near native 4K. Many of the biggest and most ambitious games that released in 2018 looked best on Xbox One X. But the biggest concern with a 2017 new console is the wildly outdated processor built into the APU of the Xbox One platform. Thanks to great R&D by Microsoft's Xbox team, performance was improved on the X along with a stronger pipeline which translates to more games being able to hold frame rates and even allowing some games to make the jump from 30 FPS to 60. This is where the next Xbox in 2020 plays a crucial role in bringing performance up to a standard where it belongs. Many of the complaints of the mid-generation Xbox, even though it's highly respected for its power and design, many of those complaints are aimed at the console's inability to break out of the 30 FPS zone. Affordable PC gaming hardware can easily run console-grade games at 60 FPS at decent resolution and settings because the CPU ranging from $50 and up have more cores and more overhead, which means more draw calls to 60 FPS and beyond. Let's be realistic, in 2018 alone, the current consoles prove that 30 FPS can be an absolutely enjoyable experience with God of War, Spider-Man, and Red Dead Redemption 2 running at 30 FPS, with visuals not often found on PC games. Right now, the Xbox One X is pushing the envelope of what a console can do with massive games like Wolfenstein New Colossus running at around 90% of native 4K at 60 FPS, and a handful of true 4K 60 games like Forza 7 and many more. Recently, Capcom's Devil May Cry 5 demo on the Xbox One X runs at a native 4K 60 with a couple of caveats. The frame rate under massive stress of particles, alpha effects, and towering highly detailed assets is dropping at a low of 46 FPS, but averaging around 53 FPS throughout the 20 minutes of gameplay. Whether the onslaught of highly detailed draw of frames is native 4K is under question. Many experts cannot find definitive proof of checkerboarding, but Devil May Cry could be using some form of interlacing scaling between 60 millisecond refreshes. But the fact that games look so incredible and convincing on 4K screenshots under a microscope shows that the potential of Microsoft's next-gen, true generational leap for the Xbox. Thanks to a continued partnership with AMD since the Xbox One X launched, the next Xbox will be powered by a custom build of AMD's Zen 2 architecture. Zen processors will offer considerably more cache, more instructions, and faster clock speeds. But more importantly, this is leaps and bounds beyond what the X offered over the base model Xbox One with a 40% increase. The Zen 2 architecture should offer nearly 100% more performance. And since power does not scale linearly, you can expect to see increased X visuals at double the frame rate on most any game. The leap from 30 FPS to 60 is an important one for gaming. Over time, a 30 frame presentation can be forgiven, but the jump to 60, especially with modern TVs, makes any game feel more fluid, more vibrant, and better behind the controls. Most PCs with moderate hardware that push high frame rates will always be able to enjoy the extra benefit of the next frame step up to 144 Hz, provided they have the display capable of such a refresh rate. Many can see the difference as frame rates increase, but there's no denying that the jump from 30 to 60 is a true premium experience for the eyes and your reaction time in playing. The AMD Zen architecture is rumored to be paired with Navi or a fully custom AMD GPU under the direction of Microsoft to provide, as Microsoft claims again, to be the benchmark of console gaming. 
Microsoft is not concerned with the price as they are planning the powerhouse Xbox premium console to provide top tier graphics and performance to further unify the Xbox and Windows 10 platform and support high grade third party VR and the elusive HoloLens AR initiative that we will be hearing about midway through 2019. Much of the design and the limitations of the Xbox One platform kept Microsoft from truly unifying the Windows 10 PC platform with the Xbox. But with the next Xbox launching with full support of over 3,000 existing games, mouse and keyboard support for Play Anywhere titles, and plenty of power under the hood to run VR at high frame rates with quality visuals. The next Xbox will also ship alongside a more affordable base model in line with the Xbox One X now, visually with a custom APU. This base model will offer dynamic 4K at 60 frames on new titles, even leaps above the power of the X, providing visuals very similar but not as crisp as the PS5 for less money. As the large majority of console gamers evolve to a digital-based game purchase approach, it's never been more important to stay within your favorite platform and ecosystem. Microsoft has placed the console in a viable and consumer-focused position to carry up all of their own digital content into the next generation. And for those that want the flexibility to play on their PC, tablet, or possibly smart TV, Away from their Xbox, the xCloud streaming service will allow untethered access to a massive library of games. Many continue to diminish the role of the Xbox console or its existence when most games can be bought and played on a PC, but this is the evolution of gaming. Much like our favorite movies and music can be unlocked and played wherever you want, Yes, you don't need an Xbox if you play games on PC, but that ignores the some 50 million console gamers that do not want to invest or even game on a PC, and Microsoft does not care where you play their games as long as you buy them. PC will always be far ahead of the line in terms of power, flexibility, consumer freedom, and variety, and as the Xbox One X passes its first year in the market, it became increasingly easier to purpose build a PC to match the X at a $500 price point. At this point, it's not uncommon to see the Xbox One X at $400 and new tech behind high-end graphics cards ranging from $350 to $600 will surpass the consoles with ultra settings and things like ray tracing, a real-time reflection render technique that brings more immersion to the world at the cost of tons of power. Sony is already teasing that next generation hardware will be capable of some form of real-time reflection technology, which means that Microsoft will either be just ahead or right behind them. Starting next generation, the consoles will be offering gamers a premium PC-grade visual presentation with more ways to play our games, making the new consoles more than just a gaming box with a controller. And those that are not accustomed to 60 FPS on most of your games, pairing a high fluid frame rate with sharp cutting edge visuals on 4K TVs with HDR, you can understand why millions of gamers have refused to leave the console space to make PC their home to play on most everything. This is Colt Eastwood. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. I create weekly content on big topics regarding console gaming. There's so much coming up for Xbox in the coming weeks. We should be hearing very soon about Project X Cloud, the streaming service, and even HoloLens. 2019 is looking to be very busy on the Xbox side with possibly another studio acquisition, some news about games in the works for this current gen from the Microsoft Studios family, and much more even before E3 2019 hits in just 125 days. Speaking of Microsoft Studio family, I created this graphic for one of my videos in November, and it caught the eye of the marketing team at Xbox, and Aaron Greenberg created t-shirts from the design after working with me to get it customized under the direction of the team of Xbox. A very cool, honorable moment for me. And what a great celebration of what the first party studios will accomplish very soon. Let me know in the comments section if you'll be jumping into the new generation day one or you'll wait to see what games are delivered on the new hardware. Have a great week. I hope you're clearing that backlog of games and hey, be nice. <laughs>